expand the range of acceptable behavior for women in hip hop. Someone noticed something very strange about this video. This phrase triggered Google to start spying. And it was shockingly reproducible. Instead of just rhymes about sex, acceptable behavior for women in hip hop. Instead of range of acceptable behavior for women in hip hop. Instead of just rhymes about sex. Early users on Google noticed the home mini would just listen randomly. Google claimed to have fixed this by disabling touch controls. But there was something even stranger about this. It seems to detect your proximity, whether close or far away. Could this be reverse engineered? By capturing the audio in stereo depth, while the speakers were parallel, nothing happened. But the audio left and right, as if the speakers were headphones, the device activates again and again and again. We've been using voice as an input across many of our products. When we were shipping Google Home, we had originally planned to include eight microphones so that we could look where the user was speaking from. But thanks to deep learning, we used a technique called neural beam forming, we were able to ship it with just two microphones. They created this product to use neural beam forming with machine learning to isolate sounds spatially. Google only logs the events as unknowns, but diving into Google stored data, the device recorded audio without ever using the wake word. Recently leaked Google's alleged internal presentation of the selfish ledger, which envisions epigenetics and deep learning working together to predict and program human behavior. As an organization, Google would be responsible for offering suitable targets for a user's ledger. If one of these options allows the ledger to move closer to its goal, it will be offered up to the user. Over time, by selecting these options, the user's behavior may be modified and the ledger moves closer to its target. The end game would be to build a program to model and modify behavior subtly over generations. One of the video's authors, Nick Foster, was part of a think tank called Near Future Laboratory, aimed at creating near future fiction designed to anticipate the reaction and acceptance of the near future. Though it might already be here silently listening in the background.